Hey, what's going on, Wolfpack? Happy uh, Saturday to you all. Hope you're having a great weekend. My name is Skippy. Welcome to Crypto Driving. Um, I just wanted to jump on here and go over a tweet I saw from Coinbase the other day, and it intrigued me. Uh, they basically said, like, hey, guys, there's a project out there that said they paid the listing fee. We don't charge a listing fee. I said, what the hell? Why is Saitama not listed if there's no ch listing fee? And I remember Russ saying the V2 was integral to us being listed on Coinbase and Binance. And, and so it got me thinking, but why? And so I looked up the terms of uh, use of being listed as an asset on Coinbase. And I figured out why, guys. Um, there, There is a list of things you can't do. And they said, if you have some of these it's it's not a, a dead deal but the more you have and accumulate the more it works against you and against the project being listed again now these are probably uh, standards on all the top tier exchanges so uh, the v2 is necessary as a new token and new project this would be uh, it would it would then roll over all these rules into a new project officially be a new project uh, even though we're carrying on the Saitama name. So I just wanted to jump in this. I'm always going to post, always do your own research. It's going to be in the description, the link to this, so you can read up on it and, and do your own research. But uh, this is summation if you don't want to read it all. Um, if you want to just listen to me for whatever reason, do that. Um, so right off the bat, important factors. Developers have made claims that it is an investment, a security, or users and holders will see a raise in price or return on investment. If any of the devs ever said it's going to the moon, it's in a thousand, thousand X gem, hundred X gem, ten times, any of that, any one of the devs, past or present, it's done. Uh, so right off the bat, first one, not looking good. Initial token were distributed in a sale or offering event to some users so again the airdrop tokens guys I already covered this in my one of my other videos tokens were airdropped to influential wallets so another point against us two for two guys the platform associated with an asset lacks real or supportable use so again our, our SATA Pro uh, platform uh, it, it we know we already know, guys, or the SATA mask. We already know that it's the the ups and downs of SATA, SATA mask. That's why we're working on SATA Pro to ensure that these listings can happen. Okay, guys. Um, the asset was distributed prior to being used for its intended purpose. Of course it was. It was a meme coin. We had no purpose before it was distributed. Okay, guys. Um, an asset doesn't include information on the owners or key devs. So the original owners of of Saitama, four creators, uh, three of them dipped and they want nothing to do with it. So another one on us guys. Uh, info on sources and fundraising methods is limited or conflicting. Again, we don't have those three people to let us know, hey, this is what happened. Uh, we only have the one person's account. Uh, I, I don't think that's good enough for them. Uh, the project has had close associations with prohibited categories of business. That's about the only one we haven't had. So uh, six out of seven, guys. Six out of seven, not looking good for the listing. Uh, then we have super user privileges, degree of centralization, uh, network has a centrally controlled nodes or validators that can be used to collude or influence the state of the blockchain. Now, uh, that's if there's a certain amount of holders that hold more than, let's say, 5 to 10%, they can all collude to ensure that um, the blockchain can do something else. They can use their their votes or, or whatever, if it's a DAO to do something like that. Uh, Saitama, I don't really think falls into that, uh, but uh, a few of the next ones do. So this essential team 
is in control of enabling or maintaining the platform's functionality or code, which it is not, it's a renowned contract, with few to no con contributions with unaffiliated third-party devs. Again, I'm not sure how they coded it, uh, if they used outside source, that's pretty much a two, a two for one right there that uh, we can't we can't really go on. Uh, keys necessary to perform privileged transactions, modifying token, changing the token's logic are controlled by a single individual or a single system. Yes, again, we have one person controlling the dev wallet. So with the V2, what do we have? We have a multi-signature wallet that is controlled by uh, minimum of two to three but up to six devs so that right there tells you another strike uh, the project's core team is a significant percentage of the asset which may be used in governance as well as a proof of stake blockchain now that one doesn't really apply but it's one of the rules so uh, i don't think that the the devs have a majority ownership of Saitama, so there's that. Uh, and then finally, novel and unverified code. Again, not not entirely sure the backstory of who wrote the code and everything. That's kind of all all been lost. Uh, not verifying through Etherscan or source code is private. It's not really an issue for us, so we get a pass on that. The asset never received a security audit from a reputable firm, especially if the code is complex or novel. The code is novel, not very complex, but it did not receive a, a security audit before it launched. So, another strike. Finally, the source code does not use an industry standard. Whenever possible, favor well-vetted standards such as Open Zeppelin. So guys, the V2 was 100% necessary because uh, we had to audit it. Uh, again, the V2 delay is 100% necessary to our success because the uh, Interfi was not a good audit. Okay, guys, it was it was good for what we needed it for, uh, quick, but it was not an in-depth one and probably did not meet the industry standards which needed to be met by Coinbase, Binance, and all those guys. So without delaying the V2, we would have had to do a V3, and we're not trying to do that, guys, okay? So for those reasons there is why Saitama was never listed on Binance. It all makes sense now. It uh, was, was I don't know, what was that? Uh, about 12 of the... 16 that requirements that needed to be kind of not not met and we met a lot of them uh in a bad way so for that reason the v2 will enable us to be considered a new project uh again even though we are carrying on the saitama name but uh the audit was important to wait for and uh now with that being said guys uh, like i said before i fully expect when this comes out that Coinbase, that Binance, that all the big top guys, the Crypto.com, the KuCoin, all those guys will be able to list us. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, again, all the links are down below. You guys have yourself a great day. Enjoy your weekend, and thanks for driving with me.